What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get Showcase. This is another really cool shortcut that's been released by Sean on Reddit. Um, so big shout out to Sean. I actually tested this out a bit for him and it seems to be working great. And uh, it's a really cool shortcut. So what it allows you to do is to take a screenshot of your device and then put it into a mock-up basically where you can put it into an iPhone frame and then you can have a different background and information about what the screenshot is. Um, you can put widgy information, theme information, whatever you want to put. Um, so it's really, really cool. Now, if you guys haven't seen my previous videos on how to make, you know, the invisible dock, um, th this one, or even the tear one, those ones are by Sean as well. If you guys want to see those, I'll leave those linked down below. But the first thing we're going to want to do here is go into Reddit and uh, we'll back up there. So here's the post for Showcase. Um, this is where you're going to download the shortcut onto your device. If you guys um, appreciate Sean's work, be sure to like this post. It's the best way to let him know that you like the stuff that he's creating uh, because this is for free. So, I mean, the least you can do is just click on, you know, like <laughs> considering this is free and it took a lot of work to make it. So once you come to this post, uh, be sure to like it to show your appreciation. And then you can see the iCloud link down here at the bottom. Just go ahead and click on that and then get shortcut. We'll let it load for a second. It is a pretty big shortcut, so it could take, you know, a few seconds here to actually load. And there we go. So now we can go ahead and uh, just swipe to the bottom here, just like that. And then we can add untrusted shortcut. I already have it, so I'm just going to click on replace. And now we have added the shortcut. Now, pretty much what you want to do before you even run the shortcut is have a screenshot ready to go. So I'll use this setup, for example. Um, of course, you just volume up and a side button takes a screenshot. Now we, we are ready to begin. So let's go ahead and go into uh, shortcuts again here. And now we can run showcase. Uh, this is just really cool to cover because a lot of people ask me, how do you put a screenshot into an actual iPhone frame into, you know, into like a mock-up and be able to display it. This is, this is one of those methods. There are others, but this one's really cool just because it runs as a shortcut. So let's go ahead and run it. First, you have a welcome pop-up here. Um, you know, display your, your springboard in style, tap done to start. So just click on done and now we will begin. So let's go ahead and give it access to our photos. It's perfectly safe. And now I will use that screenshot that I just took. Now this is completely customizable. There's probably, I don't know, thousands of different ways that you could have this, you know, this screenshot turn out differently. So I'm just gonna show you one for example. Just keep in mind there's there's probably endless possibilities on, you know, the different looks that you could come up with this. So uh, the first option here is to select your background. You have the ability to use, uh, you know, shaded gradients plus 3D option. You have the black, gray, or white. And then you have colored gradients, a baby blue, 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 gray, etc. Or you can use a custom image if you want to. So I'm going to do the black for the 3D option. And I'm going to go ahead and select on 3D. You can have it be 2D or 3D if you want. So we'll click on 3D. Now you can choose a logo. So you can use the Widgy logo. You could use your own custom logo if you guys have one. Or you can choose the option for none. I'm just going to use Widgy for example. And then the next is the uh, phone position here. You can have it centered or off center. I think the off center looks cool. And then now you have the ability to add widget info. Now, if you don't wanna add information to this screenshot, you can just skip this part. And I think that's pretty much it. It'll save to your camera roll and that's it. But I think that adding the information is really cool. So we'll go ahead and click on add. And the first one is edit widget name. This is pretty much the biggest text that you're gonna see on here. So um, it could be, you know, the name of your widget. It could be, um, you know, the name of your setup if you wanted to name that or whatever you want. This is totally up to you. You can put whatever information you want into this. And I'm just going to show you, for example, what the outcome looks like. So we're just going to do IDM and then we'll do setup. Just like that. And I'll click on done. And now you have um, the widget description. So this is going to be. Um, just below the widget name. So this is pretty big text as well. And then I'll just put a uh, setup by 
I device movies just like that. And apparently I can't spell setup correctly. So we'll just quickly attempt to fix that so this doesn't look silly. So there we go, a setup by iDevice Movies. Just click on done. And now you can um, enter widget features. If you guys are you know, using a widget, you can put the features here. Or if you're doing a specific setup, this would be a great way to show or put in text, you know, which which uh, theme you're using. Um, maybe like if you're jailbroken, if you're using tweaks or something like that, or where the wallpaper is from. You can put all that information in this part and it would look really cool. But I'm just going to leave it as is just so I'm not wasting you guys time um, writing out a bunch of features and stuff like that. Um, next spot is to enter your name. This is where you could put, you know, just your name or your Reddit username or your your Twitter or whatever you want. You can put any any uh, name that you want right here. So on Reddit, I am iDevice Movies. So we'll just go ahead and use that user iDevice Movies. Just go ahead and click on done. And then you have an option for additional information. This is real fine print that'll be at the bottom. So I'll just put uh, testing, I guess, just to show you guys what it looks like. So testing, click on done. And that should be it for all of the information. This notification would go away here. Just give it a second so I can show you what we have to choose from now. Uh, so here we have info color. So this is um, the color of the, the text. So you could do white, black, or custom. Since I'm using a black background, I'm going to use white. And then please note this this part can take a little while so just click on okay it's generating the screenshot right now or the showcase whatever you want to call it so there you go there is the showcase from here you can just click on done and now it has saved to our photos so if we go in here here is the image as you guys can see and then here is all of the information that i input as you guys can see that's basically how it works you got your 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 widget name description features your username, your icon or logo if you have one there. And then down at the bottom is that fine print additional information as you guys can see there. But still, you know, this is a really cool shortcut for those of you that want to, you know, showcase your setups or your widgets. Definitely an awesome, awesome shortcut. Again, like I said, I'll leave the Reddit post link down in the description. Be sure to throw a like on it to show Sean some appreciation. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.